Hey, I'm Fantasia. Believe it or not, what we think directly impacts how our body works. Our cells listen to what we are thinking through hormones and other signaling molecules to understand what's going on. So if we have thoughts that make us feel threatened, it can actually harm our metabolism. Interesting, right? Okay, let's break it down a little more. Imagine that you're scrolling through the news and have even a fleeting worry or angry thought. Your body actually interprets that as a threat. It kicks off a chain reaction in your hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, releasing hormones like cortisol and norepinephrine into circulation, which can in turn cause your liver to break down and release glucose. These hormones can also make you temporarily insulin resistant, further elevating glucose levels. As you see, this is your thoughts literally impacting the way your cells make and use energy, which means that ultimately we have to manage those emotions if we want to achieve optimal health. But what if we told you that this doesn't just apply to acute stress? What if adverse events in your childhood cause lasting changes to the way your body regulates these stress hormones now? Well, there's a large body of research that links childhood trauma to an increased risk for obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and metabolic syndrome. It's amazing to see how harboring unprocessed chronic stress or trauma and even day-to-day -day stress can biologically prime us to register that the world is not as safe as it could be. This in turn affects our body's ability to achieve stable glucose no matter how well we eat or how often we exercise. We even hear firsthand experience from Levels users on their surprise about how a stressful day at work impacts their blood sugar and how rises in blood sugar can even be a clue that we're stressed. So if we all experience varying amounts of stress in our lives, what are we to do to mitigate the impact? Well, I'm extremely excited to report that the mind-body connection can improve your metabolic health. Studies actually show that lowering your stress levels through techniques like deep breathing and mindfulness meditation can have a positive impact on metabolic markers like fasting glucose, uric acid, and triglycerides. And even better, the same is true for mitigating the effects of trauma. Forms of therapy like cognitive behavioral interventions can help train your body away from defective stress responses. And mindfulness techniques like breathing, meditation, and yoga have been shown to reduce metabolic syndrome in people with depressive symptoms. And if meditation or yoga isn't your thing, try spending time in nature, writing about any stubborn issues, focusing on gratitude, and maybe even hiring professional support, like a therapist or a coach. The bottom line is that our thoughts and mental health may have an impact on our metabolic processes, and there are so many tools and resources available to improve our health. The key is figuring out what works best for you. Thanks for watching.